Well guys, some point in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this gaming wallpaper right here in a few easy simple steps. So yeah guys, if you could please hit 20 likes in this video, that would be amazing. And yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. So first of all, you will need a black background or a grey. So the grey I'm using is 1B, 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 1B. Then after you do that, you can press Alt Backspace and that will just fill it in with the uh, colour you have over here. So after you do that, you want to make a new layer and you want to get a brush. You want to make that white. We're going to make that 1,800 pixels. And I'm just going to put a little light at the top like that and after we do that we want to get our image that we're going to use so i've got an image here you can just find this one off of google it's not hard to find i found it off of google see so yeah, after you do that you just want to size it to the document so my document is 1920 by 1080 so yeah, after you do that you want to put it to luminosity however you say it and that will make it like black and white i'm just going to drag it below the um the the lighting at the top layer. You're gonna control T on the light and you're just gonna drag it to the full image size. And that'll just increase it. Then you're just gonna press control J on the light and it'll just copy it as you can see. I'm gonna put that to around 80%, there we go. Actually, we're gonna increase this picture size a little bit more, so. There we go, guys, that is perfect. Now what we're gonna do is go above the lighting and we're gonna make a new layer. And we're gonna go on this dark brush layer and it's gonna make it a nice, uh, whatever colour you want, I'm just going to make it nice blue. Now what you're going to do is press B on your keyboard and that bring up the brush tool. Um, a lot of people have, like don't know how to bring up this uh, red thing to switch between like different brush sizes and hardness and all that stuff. So what you're going to do is just press Alt on your keyboard and then right click. So Alt, right click and drag left to right. Left to just make it small and right makes it big obviously. You just want to drag at the bottom like so then make a little dab there. And we're going to put this to color dodge. So as you can see it does not look, uh, doesn't look too good so we're just going to put that to around uh, 15%. So now we're going to do our sort of CC stuff. So what we're going to do here is go to this adjustment here. Or if you don't have that you can just click down there. Um, we're going to do brightness and contrast. We're going to drag this down and drag this up. It'll make it a bit dark. And then what you're going to do is go on exposure and it's going to put that up a lot. So like that, um, maybe 30, yeah like that, that looks brilliant. Now we're going to go on to curves and then just bring that up a lot and then that down a lot. We're going to go on levels and put it a bit brighter like that and then this darker. Before you do the next one you just want to go on this thing here. We don't want that green, that you want that blue. So just double click on it and then put color overlay. I'm gonna make that 00B8B6 and that's a nice blue. You can turn it up and then put it to normal. So there we go guys, we've got that nice blue going on. Now what we're gonna do is go to the top of everything and we're gonna go to gradient map. You just wanna click on this thing here and it will bring up this little box like this. Now we'll have that, um, that code copied from where we did that color overlay I'm just gonna paste it into here then we're gonna paste it into this one and then make that darker so like that I guess and then press ok so now what you're gonna do is you can might put like just fiddle around with all this stuff so let's look at color dodge yeah color dodge looks good now we're gonna bring that down to around 20 yeah like that looks cool so now what we're going to do is we're going to go above that um, layer. Then we're going to go on the white um, foreground color with the brush tool. I'm just going to click three times like that and then put it to overlay. And that will just like uh, make it stand out a lot more. Then it's going to make a new layer. Uh, it's going to drag a top like, drag on the top bit like that. I'm going to put that to overlay and then turn that down to around 40%. And now what we're going to do is the, if I show you this bit, we're going to do this rectangle here. So how you do this is you're going to go at the top of everything and we're going to click T on our keyboard and it's going to click. It doesn't matter where you click because uh, I can centre it. I'll show you guys how to centre it in a minute. So you're just going to type in your name. So my name's Tempo Art. So I'm just going to type in Tempo for short. And now what we're going to do is, um, so we know where the middle is, we're going to go to view new guide and we're going to make this 50 
percent and then just click OK and it should have like a line here. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just go to the side and then it should like lock in place like it's doing now, just lock like that. And that, that's when you know the middle is. So now what we're going to do is just put that down there. Now we know where that is. I think this is pretty much aligned up, uh, the text. But if it ain't, press Control A and it should uh, make some boxes around the edge. And you're going to click this one here and then this one here. And then uh, if you wanted to select it, press Control D and that will deselect it. Now we don't really need these lines here, so what you can do is just press Control H and that will hide the lines. Now what we're going to do is make our rectangle. So U on your keyboard, as you can see, U. And we're going to make that a rectangle tool. None of these, we don't need them. So rectangle tool, pull it below the layer, so like this. I'm just going to make it bigger than that actual um, text itself. So after we do that, we're going to go on here. We're just going to rasterize it, and then we're going to rasterize this one, so you can actually uh, delete it. So when when you do this, you want to press Control, and uh, then you're going to click on that little box here, and then just click on this layer, and then just press Delete, and then take it away, and bang, it makes like a really nice effect. So then you can just go ahead and delete that layer there. Now we're going to press Control T, and we're just going to press Shift and Alt, and then drag down so it like doesn't move out of place. Just going to keep dragging it down to about there. You guys can move it over here if you want. I'm just going to keep it here. So now if you guys do hate this colour, you can go to Q, Saturation. And I like to put the lightness up to around 3. And I like to put the saturation to uh, minus 3. But then just change your colour like so. Right, I'm, I'm actually going to change the saturation up to uh, 45, plus 45. Uh, the Q, if you do want to copy me, is plus 24. Lightness is 3. And then it's going to press the arrow, then this arrow here. This is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like for some more tutorials. These are going to be something I'm going to do on my channel, basically. Like most of my videos. Um, template every week. So it'll be tuned every week. A template. Ain't, ain't no mercy.